you're smiling. But, you know, it was very, it's very disappointing to come out there not with the win after the amount of work, effort they put in up front, but still the same defensive problems, Kalechi. Five goals to see. <laughs> Then I say I get your back. Oh, when you do what they got, oh, then ya, ibo nyu ama, ahorungi na ya. When you do what they got, oh, see ya, ahorungi na ya. It is too much, oh. Ah, I'm not too angry, oh. I'm not too angry, oh. I came here, I was not expecting five goals, and I saw five goals. Our second team is obviously playing better than the first team. Just be playing Are they? Them. Defensively? Well, defensively. It's the same old problem. Mix and match it. You understand? Yeah. Take the defense of the first team, attack of the second team, and then we are sorted. <laughs> <laughs> it's, not, it's not the way. No, but seriously, obviously the defense let us down, but you should understand that some of these players are just coming back, like Bellerin, like even Tierney when he came on, even with that tackle, we thought he had an injury. We were scared. So, yeah, it was a mix and match. Obviously, you expect better. <laughs> Obviously, obviously, last minute to consider a soccer punch, last minute goal was too mm. sad. But again, the, the boys gave their best. You know, a lot of there were a lot of men that were tired. Yeah. So five goals, five goals. We we scored. We haven't seen that for you know all season. Yeah, I, I and, that the, and the spirit of Julio Baptista was here. Mesut Ozil was here. Yeah. 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 Mesut Ozil was here. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, was, does yeah. that was that the thing that you know made the difference because he did have a great game as well. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, again, yeah. creating a lot. Yeah, yeah, he came with the energy as well. He came with his energy, he was pressing, uh, Martinelli was pressing. You know, when you press, it kind of feeds off on the whole team. Mm. Unlike the first team where you see Luis passing out from the back, a bit laid back, it kind of feeds up on the rest. So mm. they, were leading, they were leading the lines, they were pressing well. We scored so many goals and I'm, I'm happy with uh, us going forward. But yes, will, will, he, will he be back in at the weekend though? Yeah, That's the thing, you know what I mean? Should. Ozil, will, what, what, what you know, it's all right playing him in these games. I think the fans, you heard it there tonight, they want to see him starting now on on the weekend. Of course, yes, he should come back. He sh you can see that we were creating loads of chances. We scored five goals. He was on the pitch when we scored four. Mm. So I mean, and he created the I mean, he assisted mm. the last uh, the fourth one. So it's obvious that he should be there. There's no support. Well, will he be though? No, yes, because he with the managers, be. he's the manager. That's the problem with the manager. You know, he should play him. Mm. It's obvious. Like I stated in my last interview, he's the only creative player available. So mm. play him. And, and what about Jaka? Uh, Jaka, I think Jaka should be taken out of the firing line. I think that personally he should apologize. But the fans have a fault in this as well. Let's not absorb ourselves and look like, oh, we are offended. Man just gave birth to a kid. I know, I know you're a father. Yeah, I'm not a father yet. I'm looking for a baby mama. But uh, <laughs> no, I know, you're, I know you're a father. When you give birth to your kids, you stay awake. <laughs> you stay awake, yeah? It's stressful. Man is just a new father. He could be undergoing so much stress with the kid, and then you're, I'm coming, and then you're booing him, and you're, I mean, you're jeering him. There's, there's only a lot. Kalechi, he's not the first. He's not the first player know, to be jeered. Bro, both of us react oh, different. Oh, 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 oh. It's him! It's him! It's him! It's him! The, the point, I, the point I'm making. My point, my point is the way I react is different from the way you react. We are different human beings. So he's, he, he has reacted emotionally. A boy had the same thing, didn't react. So it's different. I can't mitigate. If I was being booed or jeered, I don't know how I would react, to be honest. Now, it has happened. I guess I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm not, I, I keep saying I'm not defending his reaction. I would, for me, I would have just walked out and walked into the dressing room. That would have made a better statement. Instead of insulting my own fans, I would have stormed out. Then fans would say, okay, his anger is affecting him and all that. But I won't jeer my own player. But let Sorry. me just say, Kalechi, yeah? I mean, listen, I didn't agree with the ironic Jerry. cheers and jeering, right? Yeah. But if you're a professional footballer, you should hold on, hold on, and you can't take a bit of jeering or booing. I don't think you should play. No, no, no. I don't think you should play no, no, because you're always going to get no, it. No, no, no. He needed to. He, he wants. He wanted to make a statement to stop it from happening. There's a reason why Torreira was crying. He wasn't. He wasn't smiling. There's a reason. I want to see Torreira's pictures. Do you think he was crying for fancy? Because he's a professional. He feels it. He knows what he's going through. It's not easy. Iwobi has faced it. I know what he went through. Trust me. That's why I'm talking from first-hand experience. But he didn't react like you know, how Jaka did. That's what I'm telling you. We, because Iwobi is different from Jaka. Iwobi is different from Jaka. These are different human beings. Let me just ask you, of all the players that you've known in the Premier League, not mm. just Arsenal, in the Premier League that have been jeered by their own fans, booed, have you ever seen anybody react like bro, what Jaka did? Bro, bro. I have let, never let, seen let, that. Let me tell you something. Yeah? It's just like racism. When people are racially abused, I've seen a toe walk off. 
I've seen England players stay on the pitch and want to prove they're wrong. I've scored like five goals. These are two different reactions, but they're the same. For your own fans. No, I'm talking about I'm just giving, giving you an example of an abuse where an England player in Raheem Sterling has been abused and Eto has been abused. England player stayed on the pitch to finish the goal and score more goals. Eto walked off. These are, and I cannot fault their reactions because that is the way their natural reaction. You understand? Normally, if it was me, I would have walked off the pitch. I wouldn't insult my own fans. That's why I said he must apologize. Because if he doesn't apologize, it looks like every touch he makes on the pitch will be booed as well. And it will further affect his mental problem or mentality or whatever. So he needs to apologize and close this chapter. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying that he's right. But the fans are wrong to jeer and boo their own player. It is wrong. It is not defensible at all. You won't see that in Liverpool. I mean, Liverpool, yeah, you won't see it in Liverpool. Even when Origi was playing nonsense. Liverpool fans booed Lovren. Liverpool fans booed Moreno, right? And so it happens to collect you. Hold on. No, 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 hold on. No, hold on, hold on. Liverpool fans, right? I was chatting to a Liverpool fan this morning. Liverpool fans gave loads of stick to Moreno. Liverpool fans gave, hold on, give lots of stick to Lovren. The difference is with that, that though, is that Lovren didn't stroll off the pitch goading the fans, telling them to F off. And that's what I'm saying. A lot of it he bought on himself. No, he has to apologise. And I've not said he, he, doesn't, he doesn't need to apologise. He must apologise. So I'm saying the jeering happens. Ironic no, cheers happens. I'm not... excusing it. No. Listen, my I, brother, no, my brother. That's why I'm going to face you directly. You're excusing it. You shouldn't excuse it. No. My brother, you're a voice. You're a voice. Yeah? Your voice. You shouldn't be excusing it because the jeering can the jeering can lead to other things. It could be a black man that is being jeered, and it could be misinterpreted as racism. Uh, people will now say the after all he shit is a fucking end. Blah blah blah, and that's taking another angle. You shouldn't, in your place, be defending jeering of a player. I'm sorry. No, after this, you're my boss. I love you. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not doing, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm, I'm not defending. I, I said on the day, I was the first person to say on the day that I'm unhappy with the jeering. All I'm saying, if you're a professional footballer and you can't take jeering, it's not the right. Nobody's saying it's right. But if you're a professional footballer and that's your reaction when you get jeered or you get booed, you shouldn't play. That's my opinion. You, you are always going to get it. Mario Icardi had a banner unfurled by, by the Inter Milan fans telling him to get out of the club. Fans, players, this has been going on for eternity. If you can't handle that, you can't react like that and then uh, yeah, 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 that's what I'm saying and then if you don't apologise. You know, he has to apologise. I agree with you but what I'm saying is Man, just like I said, you're a father. I'm not a father. There are stress levels with taking care of a kid first because you're not sleeping well. So a lot of things might be going on in his head. So he needs to be excused. He needs to be given time. He needs to be taken out of the firing line to rethink because the coach has told him to apologize and he still says no. He was, for me, he was childish changing his um, display picture on Instagram, right? To whatever. You know, so he's actually f inflaming these things. That's what I'm saying. He has his own faults. But all I'm saying is that I do not believe in booing and jeering my own player. He needs to stop. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Thank you.